Boom, welcome back to another video here by Daddy Scarpa. Today we are here to claim the Martinez, Boga and Pedro objective cards. Now, by accident, I did claim one of them. Um, I haven't opened the pack of Martinez, but I claimed it by accident. Um, but yeah, well, obviously we'll start with Martinez, but if you are enjoying the content, if you could like, subscribe, turn on the notification channel, uh, let me know in the comments if you've done any of these cards, if you've packed any of the Serie A cards um, or anything like that, let me know. So let's start with Martinez. So I'll start with this one. So score a finesse goal in four separate rival wins using Argentina midfielders. So this one's a bit difficult because you have to win. I've seen a lot of people get um, Latino Martinez from Inter Milan and changing him to a cam. You can do that. I used Angel Di Maria for this one. Um, and then obviously just score a finesse goal is very simple, very easy. So that's that one. The next one is assist with a through ball in three separate rival matches using very diverse players. And this one is assist and score in four separate squad battles or rivals using Ajax player. So in my opinion, I would suggest you do both of them two together. Um, I use Tadic and Promes. You can use anybody, but in my opinion... They're the best ones because you've got to score and assist. So obviously score with that player and then get the through ball assist. Don't assist and then do the through ball because it's a bit... Then you like doing extra when you don't need to. So that's very simple. Again, you don't have to win. That's the best thing about it. And again, this one, assist in two separate squad battles or rivals using players with minimum 77 defending. Again, you might have somebody like the Hullet Gang everybody over 80 you know or you could just put a defender on corners on free kicks get the assist that way um, in my opinion but I just did it randomly with a midfielder so it's it's all right in that sense so this Martinez card looks brilliant you know for a center defensive mid it looks so good so let's start here. So it's three star, three star, medium high, which is good actually because he's a centre defensive mid. And then his pace is very good. You know, shooting is irrelevant, but good shot power. Um, his passing, apart from his curve, because obviously free kick is not is irrelevant again. His very nice passing, especially short passing and long passing, in his top top tier. His dribbling is very very nice. You know, composure 89, ball control 89. His agility and balance are very very high which is always good and then defending is you know apart from heading accuracy is top top tier and again his physical is top top tier apart from his strength so uh, in my opinion I would probably put an anchor on this card just to get the strength 99 uh, aggression strength would go up all of his defending stats would go up and his pace stat would go up He's got a solid player as his trait. That is a very... For a free card, guys, and if you could link him into your team, I would recommend this card. You know, play him as a, a single CDM or as a double CDM. You know, I know a lot of people play 4-2-3-1. Uh, or even if you just play in the 4-4-2 and you keep this guy in the middle um, to stay back while attacking, um, he would do the job for you guys 100%, 100%. He is a very, very good card. I do recommend this card. Like, his stats are brilliant, you know. Hard to link, I understand, but a lot of people should be in that place with icons. And if you're not, and you're just starting the game, you know, there are Argentina cards that can be linked, or even uh, Eridiversa, you know. Uh, Quincy Promes is one of them, you know, is, is a very, very good card that you can get the, like, the very, very strong link. And then uh, an icon, but if you don't have an icon, then there are... Uh, players out there to help you so that's the first card Martinez the second card we're going to do is Boga or Boga so this one is a squad battle one this is for a stunning strike against Toronto um, I did it all on rivals but you can do it on squad battle so the first one is assisting four separate squad battle matches on world class or rivals using players with maximum three star skills and three star weak foot so again it's very simple you've just literally got to you know get the assist with somebody three star three star very simple very easy you know it's it's you know squad battles if you if you're struggling against like sweaty people online or if you're in a high division and you don't want to relegate yourself just do this on squad battles you know get a three star three star put him up front 
and get the assist there. Score an outside of the box goal in two separate squad battle matches on world class all rivals. Very easy. Free kicks, you know, finesse shots from outside the box. They work best and you know, I did like I said it's very easy on rivals, but if you do struggle put it on um squad battles and you should be alright. The next one Assist with a cross in two separate squad battle matches on minimum professional difficulty or rivals using Serie A midfielders with three star skill moves. So you could do this one and the Chelsea kid assist with three star, three star because it needs to be a minimum of three star. So just get a Serie A player, three star, three star on the right hand side and uh, get the cross that way is very, very nice. And then the last one is Score and assist in six separate squad battle wins on world class or rivals using Ivory Coast players. Now I did this with Didier Drogba, um, but if you guys have got Zaha, Drogba, or any other Ivory Coast player out there, um, it's very simple. Like again, if you don't want to do it on rivals, there is squad battles there, and that is very easy to do. So let's go and have a look at this card then. On the front of the card looks very nice. You know, 94 pace, 92 shooting, 93 dribbling is very nice. Um, three star, three star does suck. High low work rate, which is very nice though for a left mid. And like you said, pace is top tier. His shooting, apart from his volleys and finishing, is top tier. His finishing's good, but obviously volleys is irrelevant if you don't use volleys. Um, I do personally, so that wouldn't be no good for me. And then his passing, you know, is average. Apart from his curve. The only one over 90 and he's crossing 89, a top tier. You know, the rest are average, you know, 62, uh, 82, sorry, 80, 81. His dribbling, apart from his reaction and composure, are top, top tier. That agility and balance is amazing. His defending heading accuracy is, uh, you know, average. Um, and then you go to his physical and great strength. And jumping's all right. His stamina's very low. So obviously he will be about 60, 65 minute will be very low if you're using the left hand side a lot. He has finesse shot and speed dribbler. So in my opinion, do you go with a sniper or do you go with a dead eye? Probably, or maybe even an engine um, to boost the reactions and composure up. So yeah, I'd probably go with one of them three. Maybe engine would be the one. It does upgrade his pace a little bit more as well. Um, into the mid 97, 98 I think that was so that's Bogger and the last objective card is Jao Pedro now, score two goals in two separate rival matches using Brazilian forwards with at least six Serie A players in your starting squad very easy um, obviously just put six Serie A players and then uh, get a Brazilian up front I used Ronaldinho for this one, I just put him up front, and then obviously I had a six uh, six Serie A players. If you haven't done your icon swaps, and you wanted to do it that way, this is the best way: have six Serie A players in your squad, and then just put a Brazilian up front. Score two goals again. You don't have to win, and this one can also link to this one. Score a finesse goal in three separate rival matches using a Brazilian player. So again, when you score your two Brazilian goals, make one of them a finesse shot. You know, very simple. There's so many Brazilians out there now that you can get this done 100%, 100%. Assist with a through ball in four separate rival matches using players with minimum four-star skill moves. So again, I have four-star, four-star and near enough every single player from my midfield to strikers. A lot of them are five-star. But if you don't, again, just get a four-star skill move, whoever you've got in your club, Put them up front and just get that assist with a through ball. Very, very nice and easy. And then we move on to the last one, which is score and assist in eight separate rival wins using Serie A players with minimum four-star weak foot. Now, again, get yourself a Serie A player with four-star, four-star. And when he does the score and the assist, just make sure one of them's a through ball, just like the Martinez card. Like I said, it is rivals, so you will get sweaty players, especially if you are very high up ranked. If you're not, then, you know, relegate yourself. It's not the best thing to do, I understand, but just put them both up front. That's the only advice I can give is put the players up front. Don't try and get a left mid 
assist and a goal, you know, because put him up front, let him take every corner, every free kick like that. It's just the best way moving forward and that. So, this Jao Pedro card is brilliant. Look at the stats on him. So, he is four star, four star, high, medium, six foot. Now, that is brilliant. You know, a five star for skill or weak foot would have been better, but four star, four star is very nice. His pace is very good, top, top tier. His shooting is top tier. You know, long shots, 89 is only one off. His volley's 88, you know, it's, it's brilliant. His passing, his short passing is immaculate. 95 short passing with 92 vision. You know, freaky accuracy is irrelevant. His dribbling, apart from his balance, is top, top tier. His defending is got eight, uh, 86 heading accuracy. And his physicals, apart from his strength, again, look at that, top tier. Now, this card, I recommend an engine. Just to boost that balance. Um, if you really wanted to, you could go with a Deadeye, Sniper. You know, but engine would take him to a 95, 96 pace. Um, it would do the balance which is necessary, you know. And um, my nephew has got this card. And he says it's absolute brilliant. So I do recommend you guys to get him. And he has the finesse shot trait. So anything on the edge of the box is good night. God bless. So that is brilliant. Right. Now, this is what we're here for, baby. 12 packs. There's the 12. Um, because obviously I by accident claimed one of them. I didn't open it. But we're just going to start with... Yeah, it's just the same, is it? Oh, sorry about that, guys. It's just the same. So we just start from left to right. We never pack anything in these videos. You guys know I don't. So I don't expect anything. But any players to get back into the club um, will do nicely because it's all untradeable. Anchor there. It's extinct at the moment. I don't know if it's still the same. But, uh, yeah, look, there we go. Be nice to pack a blue. Especially when that CR7 is there waiting um, for me to open it is uh, while we get Pookie. Come on, yeah. But yeah, let me know if you guys get anything in the uh, in these packs if you're doing them or not. Let me know. Hopefully, you're all safe during quarantine. You know, he's starting to ease it now. The whole of the uh, UK. I'm in the UK. So it's um, from the 1st of June. A lot of things are going to be different. And then two weeks later, all the shops are meant to be opening. So touch wood. We hopefully get all of our life back. Um, so yeah, we just have to see what happens here. Nice 1,000 coins. There we go. I can't don't need to sell him. I'm sorry if I sell anybody, guys. I know I do it all the time. It's my fault. So, there's the three gold packs. Now we move on to the three two-player packs. And one of them is rare. One of them is not. So, oh, nice uh, Serie A player there. Considering they're all buffed up in price at the moment for other SPCs. Is that something? Oh, it did look like it. His head was very shiny, but nothing there. And then uh, Serie A and Premier League. And the last two players pack we have. Come on, yeah. Don't do me too much of a dirty. Ah, oh, yeah, of course you have. You know it's my account, that's why. I haven't changed it. <laughs> and we have French League. And Premier League players seem to be selling for some reason. Don't know why, but right. Then we've got three Electrum players pack and three small Electrum players pack. So here we go. Oh, silver, great. Silver is our one rare. That's what we like to see. Oh, three Libertadores cards. Um, very nice there. Let's just sell him. And let's just sell him. Get some cards, baby. Right. Come on, EA. Please, EA. Again, our... Um, rare player is silver so what we got here there he is let's see if we can get rid of him yes we can right 
Last Electrum Players Pack. Come on, EA. This time it's a gold, but nothing. What can we do? And then uh, what we can do here is change this one. Get rid of him. Right, three small Electrum Players Pack to end the video, guys. Come on, EA. Just one. Oh, come on. Oh, that looked like it then. It really did. Really did, I don't know. Yeah, oh, look. oh I've just got him. That's an absolute. <laughs> it would be me that gets that, isn't it? So, um, right, two left. Two left. <laughs> oh, rare player is silver again, guys. You know, I'm not red listed like other YouTubers. Uh, just, just, you know, pack Ronaldo tomorrow would be nice. <laughs> this is the last pack, guys, of the video. And we don't end with anything. Not even a board. Sorry, guys. Like I said, blame me, eh? It's never me. Um, what can we do? So, right. That's going to be the end of the video, guys. What we've got coming is rewards tomorrow. Also, they've just brought out the guaranteed Serie A uh, team of the season so far pack and either Eric Diversi or CSL. So that's a bit of a shame they didn't bring one out for each of them, but you do it and then you open the pack and wish for luck it's uh, Quincy Promes or Tadic, who are the most too expensive, uh, Zayek, sorry. After that, the rest are not even worth it, but there's nothing we can do about that. And then uh, I'll have another video out for you guys tomorrow with goal two rewards for the Serie A. We're going after that CR7, that 99 rated card tomorrow. But if you did like, subscribe, turn on the notification channel, it would be much appreciated. Thank you all so much for watching. Good night and God bless. Bye-bye.